ride home. One day, I'm going to tell you how my day was. One day, I'm going to ask for a sleepover. One day, I'm going to take out the trash. Clean my room. One day, one day, one day, one day. One day, I'm going to make you proud. Okay, YouTube. So it's once again nighttime, and our cat just took off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when he was about to be in the video. We've been making these videos kind of late lately because our lives have been very busy. But as you know, this is a weekend full of major events, and today is the 10th uh, National Adoption Day here in the United States, and it's a day that recognizes adoption. Uh -huh. um, basically, it's it's a day that where they try to get a bunch of kids the awareness of uh, kids that are currently in foster care homes. Um, to be adopted and it's a very good cause and it's a very important day and we didn't want to miss it so the video you just saw um, that opened up this video you know is the faces of many kids that sit in foster care every day looking for homes and I think it's a very important topic that we want to we want to bring to your attention so Brian has some really important stats that he'd like to give yeah so <clears throat> on an average year 129,000 children are sitting in foster care that are waiting to be adopted mm -hmm. That's not the total number of foster children in the system. Those are the ones who are clear for adoption. Uh, 30,000 of those children will age out of the system. That's 30,000 people. 25% of those 30,000 people um, have a problem with homelessness. 56% of those 30,000 are unemployed. Um, and that's because usually when you age out of the system... You know, unless you have a really kind foster family that's willing to help you out, you have nothing. You know, you're out on the street. Um, over all time, the only stats that we could come up with L with LGBT adoption were 65,000 children have been placed in LGBT homes as a process of adoption. Now, that's all-time stats. And that's, that's a lot when you there. think about it. 65,000 uh, gay and lesbian couples have adopted kids wow. in, in the United States alone. And that's but that's since a 2000 census. Yeah, but that's a lot higher than I ever thought was yeah. was the case. I mean, when you think about it, there are hundreds of thousands of kids currently being raised by gay and lesbians. And we, uh, Brian and Jay and the kids, Hi. want to encourage gay couples that have been together for a while to think about adoption and, and think about maybe bringing kids into your life. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many kids in the system, and we're going to be making a few videos in the next month about our adoption story. Mm -hmm and about the struggles we went through when, when we came to a decision to adopt. And we know from hearing from a, a lot of you that there are, are a bunch of you that would like to adopt and you're not really sure where to start. So, but it was amazing to me to hear that 65,000 children have been adopted by gay and lesbian couples. That's an amazing stat to me. And there's 129,000 kids currently looking for homes. Now, I know gay and lesbian couples, a lot of you don't think it's possible for you to adopt. But in, what was it, in 17 states around the country, you can legally adopt. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, only six states actually ban gay marriage. That's or an outright ban. Ban gay adoption. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. And in, in the majority of the states, I'd say in almost all of them, single-person adoption okay. is, uh, is available. So mm -hmm. you can adopt as a gay person as long as you're doing it as a single individual. Uh, a lot of times there's a workaround in some states... Um, We'll have to get back to you on that one about how you can get your partner involved in that later. Actually, Brian put together a great resource page on mm -hmm. the Gay Family Values blog. Um, you can go state to state and see what your state laws uh, allow. Mm -hmm. You know, Brian's got it listed. He did some research and he put every single state up there. And you can actually take a look at each state and, and see if one of your states bans gay mar or gay adoption or if your state actually allows gay adoption or allows single parent adoption. And uh, Representative Pete Stark has introduced a bill, uh, bill number HR three eight two seven, called the Every Child Deserves a Family Act, and that prohibits states from denying adoption on the basis of pretty much anything. But one of the most significant things is uh, sexual orientation. Yeah, it's a very so, good bill, and I'm hoping that it gets some support that it needs. Right. So to round the, to wrap this up, um, if you're not sure if you're ready to adopt and be a parent, we understand that. There's also the ability to be a foster parent. And most states allow gay couples to foster parent. Yeah, most. Um, it's a great way for you to, to see if, if you're able to bring kids into your home. 
And there, any, there's always anywhere between five and 900,000 kids currently in the foster care system in the United States. And some states require you to be a foster parent before you can adopt. Yeah. But th- like that'll California. Get, yeah, but that'll at least give you the opportunity to uh-huh. see if being a parent is something you feel you can do. And I don't want to ignore all of our straight um, viewers who watch our videos. You know, if you have a place in your home, if you and your husband or your significant other are open to adopting kids, it is amazing, amazing how many kids that are in the system that are looking for good homes. And I think, you know, outside of, you know, this is a very important issue that me and Brian don't get to talk a lot about. Um, kids' welfare is very important to us. And it's, it's really sad to see the amount of kids that need homes in this country. And we want to do it right because telling our adoption story wasn't just going to be a one video thing. So for the rest of this month, we're going to be really focusing on adoption here in, uh, on our Gay Family Values blog at blogspot.com. So tune in. Check it out. So to wrap this video up, there's a video that, that is used to help people consider adoption. And I'm going to end this video with that video. And it reminds me of Daniel and Selena because it was almost their story. They were almost separated before me and Brian adopted them. Mm-hmm. And whenever I see this video, you know, I mean, it makes, it makes me cry. You know, it's one of those videos where kids should never have to be separated from their siblings. And, you know, I want to end this video with that. So I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Hi, YouTube. Say bye. 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 Today is my sister's birthday. She loves balloons and birthday candles. We used to be together. It was better then. Now we live in separate places. What I would really like is to find a home where we could be together again. I wonder if she's thinking about me. There are thousands of children who need a home. Consider foster care or adoption. Happy birthday, Amy. The Pelton. Give us a call.